So as I said, once um, it's dried, this is overnight, um, we'll be able to put a base on. So I've just actually just rejoined the video, um, 24 hours on, it's actually gone hard. This is the one we drew a line round. I've also got the um, another little one there with a the line there. Okay, so all you have to do now is to thread your finger underneath. And I, mine's not terribly thick, but depending on how robust your ears to how quickly you can do this. Now some of you will choose to pop the balloon. I'm trying to recycle mine and use them again. So um, with this one, I've just put my finger underneath all the way around and you'll find it might be a little bit damp inside still. So be aware that a little bit of the newspaper might still want to come away. So this one you can see is a little bit damp. So I'm gonna actually use my PVA and um, stick that back down. So I've got my PVA here. And I've got a little bit of water in a in a in a bowl, um, and I'm going to show you how to adhere a small ring like this to the bottom of your bowl, so it will look something like this. So it has to be dry at the bottom. So even if you've got a little bit of dampness inside, you can actually um, use the PVA mix again. This time I've got a an old bowl here. Um, and I'm going to use a brush like before with a little bit of water, same kind of consistency. So I'm dipping my brush in just there and like that and like that. So if you join me down here a moment, um, I will show you where I'm actually just going to lacquer the inside of that to push that newspaper down again. And like I said, if it looks a bit jaggedy at the, um, the ends, you can, you can just trim that once it's completely dry. So that's now fully sealed. It doesn't hurt to give it another little PVA lick like that. Just as it dries, it becomes harder and harder and harder. On this side here, we're going to now add our little roll. So all I've done with that is actually taken an amount of newspaper and I've rolled it like this. And if you want to do it, you can do double thickness. And then I've rolled it like that to create a little circle like so I've used a little bit of masking tape on it and created a circle a little tight compact circle so what that will do is because this bowl has got a lovely dome you'll give it a little stand so you want to place it in the middle of this like that and first of all put a bit of pva without too much water actually this time a bit of pva underneath just to adhere it slightly I'm actually going to put a little bit, just moistening that like that. And the same goes again with the strips of paper as yesterday and um, the water. And you're going to coat the first one and I'm going to go across like that. So I've actually gone right across my little donut. And then I'm going to paint on top again with a little bit, making sure it dips in the middle. Just a little, little divot. And because I'm layering some of this on first, this means that this then can go on top the other way. And I'm pushing it down right into that there like that. And so on. Putting layer upon layer. And what you'll find is as it builds up, you might want to reinforce it a little bit, some little bits just around, i just show you here, around the edges like that. So we're actually gonna reinforce that join with some extra paper. So as you build that up like that, you'll eventually have it completely covered like that. You can see where I've reinforced it all the way around. And then again, it's a little bit of patience here, you have to let it dry. And when it's completely dry, we'll get on to painting our bowls with an underpaint. Um, and then you can sand it, you can trim it, um, ready to paint with our beautiful designs for Halloween and um, designs from the Day of the Dead. Um, there's lots and lots of inspiration this time of year for decoration, um, for sharing sweet treats, um, and hopefully going into this autumnal time with some festivities in mind. Anyway, I shall be joining you again with another video um, about how you decorate your bowls. Thank you.